are we ever going to go back uh, to the way we were, or is this going to result in a permanent change in the way that we work? I, I would say I, I hope not, because I think like, some of the panelists' conversations about the culture of changes, and um, you know, to me, I think somewhat <clears throat> this gets into like an agile um, approach, meaning I don't have to wait for a meeting to solve a problem. I can solve a problem real time based on real time collaborations and things like that. <clears throat> so I hope not. I, I think we started on this path to change our, our organization to be more agile, to be better uh, able to serve, to free up critical space. So, so I think, I, again, I, I hope not. I, I think very strongly work is what you do, not where you go. And, and I think we should have spaces that facilitate that. And it could be private spaces like a home office and it could be uh, community spaces for collaboration where, where needed. And I will, uh, I will echo the other panelists where, yes, I, I hope that we don't go backwards. I think we'll take a couple of steps back, just like with anything, we take one step mm -hmm. forward, two steps back to figure out where we're actually going. So I think we'll take a few steps back, but then realize the value and the benefit of a remote first workforce and start to make those bigger strides long-term. 